But then for the law, the law will have no pleasure in such a person, and the law will help us all together in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God wants you and I to live a life that will honor him. That's where the determination comes in our fervency. A life that will honor him. When I say a life that will honor the Lord, you honor the Lord by your life of service. You serve the Lord. You stretch yourself. One of the teachers uh, handling seminars told us earlier on during question and answer, you stretch yourself. When you stretch yourself, you don't remain back to where you used to be. You honor the Lord spiritually. Your prayer line. Your prayer line. How are you in your prayer line? Your life. How are you in your study life? How are you in your commitment and consecration? How are you in your growth and development? What can you say has changed in you? The same way you were five years ago, ten years ago, is the same way you are. Now COVID-19, you were home for weeks. What can you say you have accomplished spiritually profiting from COVID-19? By launching out into the deep. You launch out to the deep of prayer. You launch out to the deep of personal commitment and consecration to the Lord. You launch out to the deep of getting something done for the glory of God. You launch out into the deep ministerially. As a minister, God wants your life to glorify him. He is not happy that you've been there with five members for five years, with ten members for ten years. God wants something to happen and God will use you, God will use me. Launch out into the deep. Think, think outside of the box. Think different from the way you have been thinking. Somebody said, if you continue to do the same thing you have been doing, the same way, you keep getting the same result. Think of a different way to get something accomplished. God wants your life to honor and glorify him physically. Physically. So that, you know, the Bible says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. Even as I so prosper, that is a combo package right there. So, if you are sick, uh, uh, get, getting sick, getting well, getting sick, getting well, that is not the will of God for your life. You rise up by faith and then claim your healing in Jesus' name. Are you there? And then you say, I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. And you are poor materially. You are poor. Financially, you are poor. And you say, well, God, uh, uh, I'm poor because I'm holy. I don't want that kind of Christian. I'm poor because I'm righteous. Well, if you want to die like Lazarus, that is your choice. I want to die like Abraham. I need an amen. I want to die like David. I need an amen. I want to die like Isaac. I need an amen. You know, you know even Jacob had issues. And uh, with uh, Esau, and they had issues with one another. When eventually, after 20 years of separation, they met. Jacob said, I have enough. Isaac said, I'm sorry, uh, Esau said, I have enough. The Lord will give you enough. I said, The Lord will give you enough. Your family will have enough in Jesus' name. So, materially, God wants you to do something. Wants you to do something. Don't just say, Well, it's because we are Christians. No, Christians should be blessed. Uh, the Bible say, and it shall come to pass. If you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, and do according to all that is written in his word, then shall all these blessings come upon you. He's coming upon somebody. He's coming upon somebody. And then overtake you. Overtake you. So don't tell me you are poor because you are a Christian. You, this means your God is a poor God. I am serving a rich God, a prosperous God, a glorious God, a mighty God in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so, stop looking down on yourself. Glorify God in your life. Economically, glorify God. You know, I have a slogan in my family, praise God. Whenever the children come around, they need anything. I tell them, I say, see never dry. I don't know if you don't see dry. I say, see never dry. Uh, when I'm saying see never dry, I'm not thinking of how much I have in my bank account. Because I know the one that owns 
the account of the world. Praise the Lord. I said, see, never dry. I pray the sea of your wealth will not dry. The sea of your blessing will not dry. The sea of your peace will not dry. The sea of your joy will not dry in Jesus' name. God wants you to honor him matrimonially. If your life, your marriage is not honoring the Lord, that's not the will of God. Are you a student and you are not making progress academically? You need to begin to see different. You need to begin to think different and begin to launch out. Launch out and then socially and you will see the Lord blessing you in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 16 verse 15. And he said unto them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. To every creature. That's what God wants you to do. That's what God wants me to do. You know, in the early church, Jesus said, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Unfortunately, please look up here. Uh, I can't understand the understanding of people that say they are Christian. When he says, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Samaria, in all Judea, in Judea. And then uh, Jerusalem, all the, all to the uttermost part of the earth. What is the purpose of the power? Evangelism, soul winning, working for God, liberating people, delivering people, praying for people. Unfortunately, five years you've been saved, 15 years you've been saved, you are still being prayed for. You are the one going up and down. Something is wrong with you. Wake up, rise up, size up. Deliver yourself, shake yourself, and come out of the dust. Ye daughters of Zion, the Lord wants to use you. You have been saved for the purpose. Call for the purpose, and the will of God for your life will be accomplished in the name of Jesus. Go ye into all the world, into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature, to every creature, to every creature. When you are busy doing that, then the signs of God will be following you in Jesus' name. You said, I want miracle signs, I want us to follow me, go and evangelize. It's in the course of your ministry, you now meet with paralytic people, you meet with blind people, you meet with jobless people, you meet with all kinds of people, and things begin to happen. Isaiah chapter 41. Fear thou not, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with you, the Lord is with you. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. I need an amen to that. Despite the decision on the ground, determined people will never give up on themselves. Determined people will be fearless people. They will be courageous people. They will be valiant for the Lord. They will look for light at the end of the tunnel of their life. They will claim the promises of God for themselves. Uh, and they will declare like Paul the Apostle in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. That I can do all things through Christ that did what? That strengthens me. That strengthens me. That strengthens me. I don't look at any problem as unsolvable. That's my approach to issues in life. If I have to take a step backward, I take a step backward. So I can take many steps forward. Because in the battle of life, there are times you need to do that. But to see a problem and say, this one is beyond me, not me. Not me, not me. And in case you don't know, my name is Michael. I don't know your name. My name is Michael. And Michael simply means there is none as great as God. I do nothing by the power of self. I lean not on the arms of the flesh. I look up. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where comes my hair. There is none as great as God. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Connect with God and you will have your breakthroughs in Jesus name. Determine people connect with God. Determine people have fervent for the Lord. Determine people believe they can do anything. Determine people believe they are stranded by the Lord. Psalm 35 verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. We shall have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. 
hear me look up here somebody here will prosper sister over there at new york you will prosper brother over there in georgia you will prosper wherever you are prosperity is coming your way in jesus name i said it's coming your way in jesus name you know just claim it for yourself claim it for yourself you know sometimes we say some things like uh, pastor chuba said earlier on at the beginning of the month i didn't plan it it was why the prayer was going on in the uh, that night and the lord ministered to me that tell my people that they should sow into the life of their pastor because i want to sow into their life every time the opportunity to sow comes god has harvest in mind but you know but you know i brought it up because even some pastors they don't understand the principles of blessing and they don't know that god wants to liberate the people under them under them pastor please hear me again god wants to liberate your people don't hold them bound and some people say pastor we try to give some to our to our pastor and the pastor said no thank god after talking with such pastor things change in your life things will change it's not about how much it's not about how big but the spirit of giving the spirit of giving let me share this with you uh pastor chuba is there pastor Akko is there they are in uh, north carolina uh, i go there to minister and then at the first time i've forgotten how many years back now and then here is this pastor from another church he was invited to come and minister in our church. Ideally, when you come to minister, we give you honorarium. But when that pastor had, I was coming to town. You know what he did? He prepared honorarium for me. He was coming to minister in our church. Praise the Lord. At another time, I'm telling you people that know the secrets of blessing. The gift. Some of you are too stingy. You are too uptight. Your situation remains the same. And if you remember, I told you that day at the prayer meeting, I said, don't give me anything. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about your location, pastor. That's what I received for you. Your location, pastor. Bless that man. And then I said, pastor, when they do that, bless the people. The gift of a man will make a room for him. You said that is not deeper life. And I'm saying that is the Bible. That is the Bible. The widow of Zarephath had to give almost everything she had for Elijah. And then her blessing came. Give and it shall be given unto you. A good measure, pressed down, shaking together, shall men put into your bosom. Learn, learn, learn. Please, church, wake up, rise up and size up. Both the leaders and those that have been led. And you know there are some pastors, they think their job is only to collect. No, as you receive, you also sow into other people's lives. And that is how to profit in life and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Let me tell you, if you always think, I don't have enough, I don't have enough, the widow in the temple had not enough. She had the last penny. She dropped in the offering. The widow of Zarephath had not enough. She even said it. All I have is for me and my son to eat and die. I prophesy to somebody's life today, you will not die. I say you will not die. You will live to declare the great work of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. As it is this day. I want to say for the last time, I told you that very day. I don't know why, that, why God laid that upon my heart. I never said it. There are things that happen just like that, and we see the result of it. You heard the pastor say, if you have not done we are not forcing you, please. Nobody is being forced to do anything. Nobody's being forced to do anything. If it is not from your heart, don't do it. Otherwise, you'll put another problem on yourself. But if for whatever reason, 
you were not there on the prayer line, you didn't hear it, and you still have the heart of doing it, go to your pastor, your local pastor, your local pastor, and bless that pastor. And blessing is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, a few weeks ago, during this COVID something, uh, there is a group of pastors uh, that were praying online, and um, I belong to another group, the African Ministers Fellowship, and then we finished our own meeting early that day, and so uh, this other one, I said, let me just join them, and then I joined quietly, secretly. Uh, nobody knew I was there, and I just wanted to get blessed uh, through other ministers, collaboration, collaboration. And then, eventually, the coordinating pastor uh, was not saying, who are those on the line? Uh, identify yourself. I kept quiet. Uh, is there anybody? So eventually, I felt, if I didn't talk, would, what, would, would this not be that uh, I lied? Because I'm there, and I didn't, even though I didn't see anything. So I now said, Pastor, that I say, I said, ah, Pastor, you are here. Uh, thank you so much, sir. And then without any plan of preparation, ah, please, sir, you are going to take us for uh, another 15 minutes assignment I didn't plan or prepare for, they gave to me right away. And then I minister. By the time I finished, one of the pastors in that meeting, not face to face, over the phone, as soon as we finished, within two minutes, gave me a call and said, uh, Pastor, please uh, give me your account number. To cut a long story short, just hearing my voice, just that prayer, that pastor knows what it means to connect with blessing. Amen. This is not deeper life now. I didn't even go to their church. Nothing, 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 nothing. And uh, somebody here will be blessed. I said somebody here will be blessed. In the name of Jesus. But then, much more than giving, give your time. Give your time. Give your time. Be a blessing to somebody. Those that are in sin. Those that are backslidden. Those that are living a wicked life. Those that are unforgiving. Those that are compromising. Those that are depend on materialism, those that are greedy and covetous, remember them. Those that are living an unequal yoke life, ostentatious living kind of a thing, trivializing sin, you know them, you know them, spend time on them. If that's what you can give, give it. Those that uh, put pride in everything, they are proud of everything, remember them and the Lord will use you for them in Jesus' name. We need to know that in every bad situation like we are having right now, there is always an opportunity. There is an old saying that says, men are schooled by adversity. Learn from this and understand that Jesus told Peter, launch into the deep. Launch out into the deep because great fishes are found in deep water. Small fishes are found in shallow water. How deep are you in all that you want to do for the Lord? Great men seek to launch into the deep. The deep of spiritual self-development. The deep of evangelical uh, and, uh, endeavor for church growth. The deep of economy for the glory of God. When you are blessed, I told you, God will be glorified. Let me share this with you. You know, somebody asked a question uh, earlier on uh, that the IT program that uh, we're doing here in Washington, this is what happened. We didn't know that COVID was coming. But out of my concern and passion for the people in the church to be blessed, we came up with this idea of IT training for the people in the church. And I got people in that field that are members of the church and are doing well. I don't know how well, but I just know they are doing well. And I said, this is the vision, this is the dream that I have. When I say dream, I don't mean I sleep, I close my eyes and have dream. You know, you, so you don't say, uh -huh. even pastors talk about dreaming. I'm talking about, um, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Being inspired into doing something. And so I shared, and then the people I told them, we are going to do, to start IT training. And it's going to be free. I spoke with the people and they agreed. In my mind, I was expecting maybe like just 15 people 
or 10 people will show interest and then we just take them through the, uh, the, the class and uh, some of those classes people told me uh, they paid two thousand three thousand dollars just for a few weeks and we had to take them for three months and so it's going to be a blessing to the people cast your bread upon the waters and after many days you have it back and so the people of course, they won't tell me no. They can't tell me no. Why would they tell me no? Praise the Lord. Amen. And so they said, yes, sir. And so we made the announcement, and then we told them to register. By the time they registered, we got about 120 people registered. Can you imagine? And then it not done on me. I was thinking of one thing. So the first day of meeting, I have to be there myself without prior plan be proactive i now knew that we need to do something very very quickly and urgently and from there i now came up with an idea of okay instead of just one class uh, we're thinking of just database that's what i had in mind but then when we see the crowd and you need such a knowledge and experience to do database. And I said, okay, if you are this, 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 and then from there, we now formed three major classes. We have the database, we have networking, and then cyber security. Each of the classes build up. But then we also see that there are a set of people that has no computer uh not basic knowledge of computer. So from there we have to start uh, basic computer training. So five classes. We already have a school already. <laughs> school of computer. Praise the Lord. And that they started doing. And then COVID came. I tell you, praise the Lord. From what the people are saying, our own students are about taking their certification. But some of those that are doing that work, I'm sharing this because some of you have been asking uh, Pastor Chuba, Pastor Binga, what do you do? I'm not saying go for IT training. I'm just sharing with you. If God leads you that way, that is one of the ways you can go. So one of the people that came into the country uh, from Africa uh, started doing a weather $10, $12 job an hour. And then one of our brothers in the church in the IT put him through and then he got some extra training. He finished as, uh, as a beginner. They began with him very, very low, $90,000. Praise the Lord. I know another brother, he actually gave his own testimony openly uh, that was a mechanic. And then he switched into IT and then uh, they started him very low, 100000 and some of you are saying that if you know what you are doing, when you make six figures, it's not low six figure. You get the high six figure. And so, why don't you think outside of the box? We didn't know COVID was coming when we started that. And some people from other states were connecting. And now, it was tough for us because uh, I don't know too much about computer myself. I'm a pastor, I'm a preacher. Praise the Lord. Uh, but now, with COVID around, praise the Lord, we are taking it to another level. Praise God. Praise God. But that is not the talk for today, but self-development. Self-development. Develop yourself. And then, there should be social connectivity with other people for global impact. For global impact. Uh, for about two weeks now, if you're a pastor in the region, uh, if you have not been joining, well, that's uh, up to you. Uh, we've been, I've been sending information on connecting with other ministers from different parts of the world. Some of them are from Europe, from Africa, from here in the United States. Uh, two weeks ago, when we had that meeting, about 10,600 people uh, viewed that thing that we did. We had another one yesterday, and the testimonies are outstanding. Are, are, are unbelievable for self training and for self development the Lord will help us in Jesus name now what you don't know you know they kept telling you that it is free it is free there is no free lunch in America we paid for it but we paid for you just one price to cover you so if you are not taking advantage of it it's up to you I have done my part praise the Lord you launch into the deep of supernatural anointing 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 
anointing. You want to get to a point in your life that you become the man of the hour. The man of the hour. That is who Elijah, uh, yes, Elijah was. The man of the hour. That is who Elisha became. The man of the hour. Peter, Paul, the man of the hour. Why not you? Peter is gone. Elijah is dead. You are here. Your hour has come. I say your hour has come. Launch into the deep. Launch into the deep. Launch into the deep. And draw out your name for a draught. You will succeed in Jesus' name. How many of you got blessed? This morning, with all the seminars we have, just wave your hand. I can see you. Amen, but you can see me. Praise the Lord. Personally, I got blessed. I got blessed. And if I tell you, I'm not a computer person, but almost all the slides they presented, I have them on my phone as I speak. Some of you are still saying, hey, send us the slides, send us the slides. <laughs> I got everything already. Praise God. The ministers didn't send it to me. As they were delivering, I was paying close attention and I was capturing everything. Capturing everything. So if you want me to teach what they taught, I can teach you right now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Be smart. Tell your neighbor, be smart. Amen. Children, don't tell daddy, but if you tell daddy, that is why daddy should be smart. Mommy should be smart. All right. Now, I'm still going to meet with our pastors, but I think this kind of a thing for the education and development of our members regionally and maybe eventually nationally I'm thinking this kind of a thing will do it once in a quarter just connect everybody you don't travel to anywhere at the comfort of your house we bring professional here they equip you they empower you so that you get yourself engaged with something amen finally you sow into people's lives sow into the lives of people and then you will be blessed. I, said, I spoke a lot about so. You know, there are people because of COVID, they have not paid their time since COVID started. They took an opportunity with that. You forgot that if you steal from God, whether you steal from man or you steal from God, you are a thief. Thief is thief. So, whatever you have taken, which is not yours, do your restitution, return it back. Praise the Lord. I'm your pastor, I pay my tithes. Amen. And maybe, let me tell you this, if anybody give me any gift, I get it, I take tithe of the gift, I still pay the tithe of that. If, uh, I know some of you will ask questions, if IRS pay me, uh, should I have to pay tithe of that? I don't know, but if I get anything from IRS, I pay tithe of that. The Bible says, tithe of all. Tithe of all. Why is it that it's when it comes to God that we argue everything? Complain everything. Somebody here will be blessed. In the name of Jesus. So, don't worry about what is going on around you. God is preparing you for a drought of blessing. If only you look up unto the Lord, they will do it in Jesus' name. It was Frederick Douglass who said, if there is no struggle, there will be no progress. So, the struggle of our time is to launch us further. And then C.S. Lewis, that great preacher, he said, you, you are never too old to start another goal or dream a new dream. Don't say, this is my age. Start all over again. Think outside of the box. Set a new goal for yourself. And the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. Come up with a will. That's what Mahatma Gandhi said. And then, about Einstein said, logic will get you from point A to point B. Imagination will take you everywhere. Everywhere. Try to be a man that thinks outside of the box. A woman that thinks outside of the box. And you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Well, so what then do you do? Stretch out yourself to break limits. You'll break limits in Jesus' name. Search for new paths to success and to excellence. Strategize to make yourself irreplaceable. Strategize. Strategize. And I think uh, Pastor Benga spoke a lot about that earlier in the day. Then socialize for greater connection. Better connection. You're looking for something good. Connect with people. And you will have about mentor. A lot of times you need people to recommend you. Connect with people. Socialize socialize 
as a church over here we are socializing and unfortunately even some of our pastors don't know what it means to socialize they were born in the village they were raised in the village and from the village they just found themselves in america and uh, they are still living the village life socialize socialize if i tell you different groups of people in the ministry that i connect with so i can be my best in serving you and serving the lord and i go there i learn and i bring it here socialize yourself like the one i i said we did yesterday the global impact this is a coalition of pastors from different walks of life that are coming together and for your information they are all africans what you are striving to do some people are already doing it the way you don't know some will hold your hand and take you through it the door you thought was closed somebody has the key to it socialize we work with the ASFPM, African Strategic Leadership Network, the African Ministers Fellowship, the Global Impact, Nigeria Press. Name them. We don't get connected with them to compromise anything they know. But tell me how they saw it. Something does a tree does not make a forest. I need you, you need me. And there is nothing you have that you didn't get from somewhere. There is nothing I have that I didn't get from somewhere. So we share together. We share ideas together. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And I tell you another one that you, don't, you may not like to hear, but I will tell you anyway. When I say socialize, people say, uh, all work and no play makes a jack dog a dull dog. Praise God. Over here in Washington area, we, 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 we try to create time for, for, for socialization. And that's part of why uh, when we say we do couples nine, it's for socializing in a spiritual way. And then we take it further. We take it further. I'm saying this so that in all your states, that's why uh, all these things, so that in all the person in all the states, you know that this is not the same. The Bible says um, uh, bodily exercise profits little. At least there is a little profit. Get that little. A little here, a little there, a little there, you get something. Amen? Some of us are gaining weight, especially since COVID started. How are you going to lose the weight? It's easier gaining the weight than losing the weight. Over here, we have sports. As I'm talking, here in the church, we have, uh, is it treadmill, they call it? Praise the Lord. Over here, we have ping pong. Sometimes I walk till late in the night and then I need to go home and I say, I've been sitting all day, I've been working all day. I need to just uh, stretch myself. Amen. Praise God. I know they are going to beat me anyway, but I get to the ping pong table. Praise the Lord. And then they dribble me, I dribble them at the end of the day, they win me. I'm happy. I have lost some, uh, some calories. Praise God. If you get your wife and then say honey let's go let's walk out amen don't be too holy for god even abraham and sarah they 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 they, they, they socialize praise god that's what actually delivered the, the woman from the king socialize if you cannot go out just throw balls yourself do it with your children it can be with anybody losing all that will not take your holiness away. I need an amen. You say, ah, deeper life, don't preach this one, no. Trust me. In case you don't know, I am deeper life. And I'm preaching it now. Praise the Lord. And then, not just socializing, study to become visible, viable, and relevant. Study, study, study. Some of you, you have never, never tried to do something different from what you've been doing all these years. The same way you have been preaching. The same way you have been talking. The same way you have been behaving. Study, study, study. How to relate in the family. As a husband, as a wife. As a father, as a, uh, as a mother. Study. As a worker in the church. 
the way some of you communicate with uh, your members, the way you communicate with your leader, study to show yourself and be effective. Saturate yourself with information of a life-changing nature. Saturate yourself with information, good information. Separate yourself from visionless and passionless, uh, 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 passionless uh, companions. Separate yourself from them. And uh, it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Very quickly, very quickly, I get to the final point. A final point. Um, the decoration of a faithful steward. The decoration. The, the decoration. The honor. The glory. The medal. The beautification of a faithful steward. Psalm 126 verse 5. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I need, I need an amen there. He that dwell forth and weeping, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. The Lord will cause you to prosper. The Lord will cause you to profit in Jesus' name. John 15, 16 says, You have not chosen me. This is Jesus talking. But I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it unto you, you will be fruitful. Every barrenness in your life I banish in Jesus' name. Daniel chapter 12, Daniel chapter 12 and um, verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting content. And they that be wise, you will be wise. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the star forever and ever, you will shine. You will shine. You will shine. But be a soul winner. Sow into their life. Sow Christ into their life. Sow the word of God into their life. Don't sow the spirit of God into their life. Sow the love of God into their life. So, so, so. Be faithful in all that you do, and the Lord will honor you. You know, I, I love the way Isaiah put it in chapter 41 of Isaiah verse 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. 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 With what God glorify you, taught John verse 2. Third John verse 2. It says, Beloved. Who is that beloved here? Who is that beloved here? It says, Beloved I wish above all things, above, above, above your trial, above your temptation, above your sickness, above your infirmity, above your doubt. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Done. I said done. I said done. That thou mayest prosper and be in hell, even as thy soul prospereth, you will prosper in the spirit, in your body, in your soul, in your business, in your family, in Jesus' name. You will prosper in your academics. You will prosper in every area of your endeavor. In the ministry, you will prosper in Jesus' name. I don't care what your past may have been, might have been. What, I don't care what the, what, what the enemy is projecting for your future. Hear the word of the Lord. The man called Jabesh made a difference in his life. He called upon the Lord. The Lord had name and turned the situation around. I don't care what must have happened. What may be happening. Hear the word of the Lord. After this COVID, your life will change. Your family will turn around. Your ministry will not remain the same in Jesus' name. After this COVID, profiting from COVID-19, you are launching out into the deep. You are catching fishes. Uh, I say you are catching fishes. Your net will be full. Even to break him. Hear me, hear me, hear me. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, somebody under the sound of my voice before the end of this year will become an employer. I said you become an employer because Peter, after the net became full, had to beckon on other people, had to hire other people to come and help with it. And I declare, as you begin to take steps, of not this we are telling you today, you are moving up higher. 
you are moving up forward. You are moving up forward in Jesus' name. Rise upon your feet. It is time for us to launch out. We want to launch out in prayer. We want to launch out in faith. You want to launch out in the word of God with confidence in the Lord, with courage in the Lord. We are launching out. We are launching out. We are possessing our possession. We are getting restored. We are getting revived. We are getting renewed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Understand, understand. COVID means creativity. It means opportunity. It means viability. It means idea. It means diversification. It means victory. Interconnectivity. Restoration. Unlimited. Ski. Lord, move me up higher. In my work with you, move me up higher. In my prayer life, move me up higher. In my commitment, move me up higher. In my prayer life, move me up higher. In my dedication, move me up higher. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you want God to move you up higher, you have to start with your relationship with the Lord. If you are not born again, you can take care of that right now. If you are backsliding, you can return to the Lord right now. Right now, right now, right now. If you are not in the center of the will of God, you can call upon the Lord. He will answer you. He will answer you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, don't die in your situation. Don't die in your condition. In the name of Jesus, you will turn around. 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 Be on fire for the Lord. Tell the Lord to set you on fire for him. Give you, O Lord, in me the fire of the Lord. The fire of revival. Give you in me, O Lord, O God. The fire of grace. The fire of power. In the name of Jesus, give you in me the fire of anointing. The fire of unction. In the name of Jesus, to do exploit for you. To live for your glory. In the name of Jesus, search me, O Lord, and know my heart today. Try me and know my thoughts, I pray. Pray to the Lord. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. We have spent good quality time listening to teaching, asking questions, and not listening to preaching. It is time for prayer. The yoke is breaking. The bonds are going to lose. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power of the Lord is coming upon you. You'll be rising and falling. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. You want to be that determined, perfect servant of the Lord. Determined, perfect steward of the Lord. You want to be the one mounting up with wings as eagles. No matter your situation here, the Lord will turn your life around. He will turn your situation around. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. David recovered all. Don't give up to your failure. Abraham defeated the confederate of all kings. Don't lose hope. You didn't, God didn't keep you to be a failure. Jacob fought with the angel and he prevailed. This month of May is over today. Declare and end your sorrow, to your sadness, to your oppression, to your affliction, to your sickness, to your infirmity, and end. Oh Lord, let my life, my heaven be open. Let my heaven be open. Let there be showers of blessing. begin to fall I will flourish in this land 
I will prosper in this land. Abraham prospered everywhere he went. Isaac prospered, prospered everywhere he went. Jacob prospered everywhere he went. Joseph prospered everywhere he went. Paul prospered everywhere he went. Peter prospered everywhere he went. In Jerusalem, Cornelius' house, everywhere. In this land, I will prosper. I will enjoy the goodness of the Lord. By the power of the Lord, I will become a, the symbol of the covenant of God. The symbol of the covenant of God. I'm trying to rush because the time is fast spent. You are going to pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus, by the palm tree, I will forever remain green. Like the palm tree, I will forever remain green. There shall be no drought in my life. I will take root downward in the name of Jesus. I'll be established in the covenant of God. My outgoing shall be blessed. My incoming shall be blessed. My uprising shall be blessed. My down sitting shall be blessed. I break every covenant of, covenant of poverty. I break every covenant of infirmity. I break every covenant of barrenness. My light will shine. My life will flourish. I will fulfill destiny. My life, I will serve the Lord. I will live for God. My spiritual eyes will be open. You are praying for yourself. You are praying for yourself. You are praying for yourself. to my blessing, oh Lord. Connect me with blessing. Connect me with destiny help us. Connect me with grace. I will succeed in the ministry. I will not be a failure. The spirit of success will come upon me. The power of the living God will overshadow me. I will be a soul winner. Miracle signs and wonders will follow me anywhere I go. Somebody is keen in into the grace of God. Let my door of blessing be open, O oh Lord. I decree my restoration. I decree my renewal. Everything I have lost, I recover them by faith. In J.
Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray when a gift is being given you stretch your hand to receive it my prayer for you today is going to be very short stretch out your hand stretch out your hand father in the name of jesus i present unto you everyone under the sound of my voice no matter what part of the world they may be right now listening to this message I'm partaking in this prayer. Whether people are in their houses here in the country or outside of the country. King of kings, Lord of lords, God of heaven. You said I shall decree a thing, it shall be established unto me. Whatever what shall I decree here on earth shall be established in heaven. What I lose on earth is loose in heaven. What I bind on earth is bound in heaven. As your representative, I present all these people spread all over the nation of America and beyond before you. Father, see their hands stretched out, waiting to receive from you that which you have gotten for them. Lord, whatsoever their petition right now, hand over to them in Jesus' name. Whatever the miracle they need for themselves, for their body, for their family, for their career, for their ministry, oh Lord, I pray, give to them now in Jesus' name. Receive your blessing. Receive your blessing. Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. the adoration because you are God. Thank you for the way you started with us this morning. We thank you, Father, because of the seminar. We thank you for the prayer time in the morning. We thank you, Father, because of all the things that you have done. Almighty God, Father, in the in the, name, in the prayer recession and in this message. Father, we give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Everlasting Father, as we have received today, we are that those
Let us share it. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, in this summer, she shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of our hope forever. Amen.